It felt heart-touchingly small on this cold day in late February 2011. I had come to the old North Bridge in Concord to reclaim something, my patriotic pulse that had flatlined in the 60s. Could I get it to flutter again, to keep time with those on the other side of the world who, forever captured on YouTube and Facebook, were demonstrating, fighting, and dying for a freedom we have long taken for granted? Here, at the starting gate of our own revolution, would I find anyone else in the quiet cold who felt as I did? There were other footprints in the fresh snow, the trail of daily dog walkers. In a month and a half, this place would teem with reenactors. But now, except for the inexorable water under the bridge, it was still. Then, from across the river, a man and his child approached. He was from Ghana and we stood together beside the Minuteman Isaac Davis and Emerson's poem. I, with my Mayflower eyes, told him why I was here. He understood. But in brown-eyed sadness said, What has happened to this country? You fought so hard against tyranny. What do you value now? 